This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS principles course. I'm on unit three intro to programming lesson eight creating functions with parameters part 12 adding parameters to functions jaw seagrass to keep adding variety to our image. Let's keep adding parameters to our functions. Currently the jaw seagrass function can only draw a piece of seagrass with arcs of a radius of 100. Add a parameter to a function to the function definition for seagrass that allows you to control its size. You only need to change the radius of each arc. Make sure your parameter has descriptive and meaningful names. Hmm. Update your function calls to use the new version of draw seagrass and change the size of seagrass in your image. All right. So let's, yep, this is saved across projects. We need to change draw seagrass. Okay, so let's go look for, so here's our function call, right? This is where we ask the computer to run the function. Because functions create these code blocks, but they don't run on their own. You have to ask the computer to run them. So the computer moves the turtle to 5450, turns it, oh, interesting, zero degrees, draw seagrass and says, the computer says, oh, what's that? Uh, is there something named draw seagrass? Looks around, looks around, boom and says, oh, here it is, drops in and runs this code, right? Once it hits the bottom, it just goes all the way back up here and keeps running right where it was, below it. And now we would draw seagrass again. So they want us to add a parameter to seagrass, all right? So I just hit this arrow, and then what was it for? To control the arc size, I believe? So to change the radius of each arc. Okay, so I'm just going to call it radius then. You might call use yours arc. Um, either would work. All right, so I'm going to name mine radius. Now, we are going to, is it a single parameter? Add a parameter to the definition that allow you to control the size. You only need to change. Yep, so one parameter. We're not doing multiple. Okay. And then, well, what is the radius of our arc? Is it 30 or 60? Let's go look for arc and angle, then radius. So right here, I'm 30 or 100. This is what we would need to change to radius. And then when our function runs now, each time it runs, radius needs to be part of the function call when we ask the computer to run the function. We need to have a number, right? Because the computer is now going to say, okay, draw seagrass, but radius. All right, radius was, uh, so now I got to go all the way back up to my function calls with seagrass and put in my, put in something that will be the parameter here, which is called an argument. And I don't know, maybe a hundred this time. And let's do something small, 40. Okay. And actually let's do 150. Let's just see. And so now when the computer hits this code and says draw seagrass 150, the computer starts looking. Oh, well, what's draw seagrass? Oh, here it is. Okay, radius, uh, radius, what's radius? Oh, 150. And then it's going to run the code. And when it hits this part, arc left, 30 degree angle, but the radius, oh, what's radius? Oh, 150. And so it makes an arc with 150. And then 60 degree angle, arc with 150 hits the bottom, and then when it runs again, we have a different argument, a different thing that will be the parameter spot. 40 for size, for arc. 40 for radius, and then it's going to run all this code again, and this time it will use the same code, but it will draw a seagrass with a 40 radius for each of these. Let's see how this works. And you can see the substantial difference. So maybe I want to change these up a bit. That 40 is definitely way too little. So maybe a 70 and, I don't know, maybe a 120. Beautiful. Great. So you need to add the parameters. And you do that just by clicking these arrows. You can always do it in text mode too. And then you need to add one here. But make sure you use the parameter. If you're going to have a parameter in your function... You need to be using it. So, looks good to me. Uh, let's keep going. But, uh,